Whether it's thin crust or deep dish, pepperoni or plain, pizza is as American as, well, that other kind of pie. An ooey gooey Italian transplant that's made its way into our hearts and stomachs. Here at Carmine's Creative Italian Cuisine in Hagerstown, the recipes may be Neapolitan, but the cheese makes this pizza distinctly Maryland. It's 5.30 in the morning. I am getting ready to milk our cows. Katie Kearns is the herd manager here at Mercuro Farms in Frederick County, in charge of 130 head of cattle. 30 of them milking age. Cows are creatures of habit, and anytime you mess with their schedule, they're not happy. So every morning we're here at 5 in the evenings, we start milking around 4, 4.30. This morning's milking can't come soon enough for some of these girls. She's recently just had a baby. One to three months after the baby is when they're producing the most milk. Up to about 180 pounds per day. Though first-time moms typically produce about half that. But it's not all about quantity. Quality involves several different things, but it's going to start with your bacteria levels and then basically the amount of richness that you can provide in your milk from your cows. And that will come from how you feed the cows and how you take care of the cows. Katie's cows get the VIP treatment. A lot of times if you massage them a little bit, they relax more and let them melt down. And she's my favorite cow, so <laughs> I baby her a little bit. After the sun rises and the last straggler makes her way out of the milking parlor, the milk is loaded onto a truck bound for the Penland Pure Cheese plant in Hancock, opened in August of 2016 by local dairy co-op Lanco Penland. For the last four years, the dairy farmers in the Mid-Atlantic region have been faced with dumping of milk because reduced fluid sales. Partly due to the rise in popularity of non-dairy alternatives like almond milk and soy milk. So the idea of bringing this plant back online and the fact that it would consume 500 tractor and trailer loads of milk monthly was a really wonderful thing for the dairy industry. Nine months into it, we're about at full capacity in production, and we're producing about 2.3 million pounds of cheese a month. Both hard cheeses, Parmesan, cheddar, Monterey Jack, Romano, and pasta filata cheeses. Cheeses that are cooked. So they're cooked and stretched, simulating what happened in Italy for generations by hand. All under the watchful eye of master cheesemaker Mark Gustafson. The cheeses start out in giant vats with different ratios of butter fat and protein for different cheeses. Cultures are added, followed by rennet to set the cheese. Then the curds are cut, cooked, and the whole lot of it is moved to finishing tables. So today we're making mozzarella cheese and we've transferred it to the finishing tables where you can see our curd and whey. After the whey is drained off, hard cheeses are packed into molds for aging. But pasta filata cheeses, like this mozzarella, have a little bit farther to go. Mozzarella is a cooked cheese and it's cooked to enhance its stretching and spreading ability which is precisely what makes it such a great pizza topping. So our mozzarella curd has been through the cooker stretcher, and it's now on the way to the molder to be formed into wholesale package sizes. From the molder, logs of mozzarella drop down into what Kurt calls the Lazy River, a briny waterway that helps cool the six-pound loaves while adding a little extra salt. Finally, it's into packaging and out the door. It could end up anywhere in the eastern half of the United States. Pizza-loving locals who want to taste don't have far to drive, because back at Carmine's, a little bit of Maryland is melted onto every pie, from farm to pizza box.